So here's a, an equatorial Sundial template creator. Just enter your select northern or southern. If you're in the northern part of the flat plane or the southern part of the flat plane, and you need to need your latitude in, in decimal format, which you can convert from degrees, minutes, seconds using this website called this FCC.gov website. Then enter in the latitude and degrees in decimal format, and then select your face diameter if you want, and then the whole diameter for the nomen. nomen. The nomen is the, the whole in this type of equatorial sundial. So what the template looks like is the backside, just the fake globe earth. And this is showing the angle for the latitude where I am I'm gonna put the sundial. The face plate is the nomen itself. So that has to be at the latitude degrees. And this shows the equinox is shining straight through at 36.45 degrees. And that's about trying to make this out of steel and mark out this angle with the, what, maybe a, a wooden dowel. And the protractor or something that can show the angle. So once you have this set up like this, just click on diagrams the PDF. I'm going to a new tab. Select your PDF page size. I'm going to select 11 by 17 because uh, I was able to send this to a friend that uh, the owner of a business who has a large printer that prints out 11 by 17 inch pages where I used to work. And then it shows all these. These are where I'll be on the template. There's some information down here that you can look at. And there's a paper sizes chart. Most printers will have the metric, I will have the English inches. So that's why I selected this one in SIP 11 by 17 inch. And then type in a file name for the PDF. If you don't, it'll be a generic long number P file name. something like that, oh, yeah, whatever you want. The rest of the settings are usually the find to leave where they are. Then click on all to PDF. And then you'll have a, you'll get a save as dialog box open and hit so like the place where you want to save and then hit save.
And also, if you want to create a, a horizontal sundial, you can do so on the same website here, where on this section here. These two links up here just means the metric and imperial. Or the inch means it imperial for the same above. And I already have my latitude in here and diameter, known thickness. It's about the thickness of the steel. And then if I just pull, it's look, it looks like this. But you want to make it look like uh, most of the other sundials around. You can use the Roman numerals. And this is what the nomen will look like. You can read all this information here. And you can mark out a large sundial for your place where you want, place like a garden sundial. So make a paper pop-up sundial for us to test alignment and see how the full scale sundial will look and fit. So click on the same diagram as the PDF again. Open that a new tab. Change the PDF page size. And these dotted line outline shows that it should all fit on the page for the size of for that size of the PDF page. And then type in a name for your video. Something, whatever you want. And then click on Alt PDF. Save it. Um, oops. Oops. Clicking on one of these removes them and then just to reload the page to get it back. And if when you if you don't have a large printer page you can use an option in your pdf program either a adobe reader or or the one i'm using called gaiho reader you can print it in multiple pages information here you can follow here for that and then you just have to print it out and transfer it to whatever material you want to put it onto and have fun enjoying hopefully the sun is not being blocked by the clouds on the day of the Kufa, which is most supposed to be on next Sabbath Shabbat, March 20th, in the, on a Gregorian calendar. Enjoy it. And also, this is the template maker for the the paper pop up sundial. Do the same thing, diagrams to PDF, and pr print it out in any 
and select it. Might be a bit large for this. So you letter, and you just cut out along here and here, and then around the outside, and then that shows down here to use a something like a ruler or a straight edge and a butter knife to score these edges to get a good fold. Just this one, this one, and then this one. You have to fold this one in and then put some tape on the back to hold it together. And then Again, that just for testing the the location. Uh, take care. Bye for now.